Well, greetings, everyone. Welcome to the Desert Heart Sanctuary. I am your host, Joan of Angels. Oh, yes, your other host hosts are the Miracle Messengers, the Messengers of Miracles, the Masters of Miracles. And today, guys, we're going to be celebrating. So today's card, which is card 20, is the Angel of Celebration. And, uh, okay, just to give you a heads up. Answered prayers. Miracles are manifesting. Celebrate. Go out and dance. Take a break. Do not wait. Know that you have shifted the hands of fate. And miracles for you, my love, will not wait. So they said to go and celebrate because today we are working with the angel of celebration. I was going to show you the original painting, but she was so high that I was afraid to climb up that high by myself. You can see some of them are high, but those all have chairs in front of them. Okay, guys. So welcome to my sanctuary. Welcome to the desert, really, and this is where we call in divine beings, angels, and the miracle masters. And they're here because they want you to have a fabulous year, not just a year, but they want you to launch something that's huge. They want you to become part of a miracle awakening on planet Earth. What could be better? How would you know that a miracle awakening is happening? Well, number one, you could talk about angels, and other people might say, oh, that's not bad, I get it, or miracles, and they don't think you're crazy. That might be a miracle awakening. But in practical terms, what is a miracle awakening? Well, a miracle awakening might be peaceful, harmonious, new relationships that begin with you. So all of the transformation from to the big vision happens when we actually make it happen on this vision inside of us. So this is really the key. Miracle mastery starts within. When we start to awaken that miracle muscle that we have and we remember how powerful we, we really are and we awaken to our own strength, our own gifts, I say it over and over and over again, we start to resonate with them and sing with them and even accentuate them. So today, you get to see me in my little more outrageous look because I am celebrating and because I said that I was going to share with you all the tools that I use. Oh, God, not all of them. Okay, just 44 days worth of them because I'm a Piscean soul and I have unlimited potential and I am continually receiving streams of information. So this is just 44 days. So God knows what's going to happen after that. All right. So getting back to the business at hand, which is helping you to understand that it takes more than just saying, I want miracles. That's not enough. Sorry to say, the angels will come out and play on that one. So no, what they really want is to hear what you're committed. What are you committed to do to make these miracles with you? So I'm going to share with you this little journal. And this happens to be Celestial Mission. Well, why? <clears throat> well, we're all on a mission. Oh, is it up to down? Here it is. Okay. We're all on a on a mission, you and me, all right? Part of our mission is, is this ascension process. This is a celestial travel ship. I love it, actually. It's got angel or, or sacred symbols on it. And the original piece of art, okay, so it's got a heart with wings over in one section. But the original piece of art actually has a, a transport, a, a, like a, um, what do you call them? It's kind of like a dragon. Yeah, like a flying dragon or a flying horse or something. It's so powerful. The energy just lights up. And, you, and I realized that that's a fast track to heaven is to hop on one of those celestial horses that fly through the sky like Pegasus 
or even to have a unicorn come and scoop you up. So celestial mission, but why am I showing it to you? So that you could see that it is a journal. And why am I showing you a journal? Because one of the best ways to really start to awaken miracles is to track them. So if you had this this deck, my dear friends, let's show you personally. And remember, this is just a prototype. Real deck is on its way. This is the artist draft. Showing you though just how you can use anything as an oracle. But so you and the back of these cards, okay, okay, there's thing. I have to really show you more. So I will, I will. Where's the cover? There it is. So the cards actually look like this. Here's the front of every card, and here's the back of one of the cards, okay? And we shuffle the deck when we want to know which way the mutual energy will flow. What should we do? Who should we see? How busy should we be? Or is it time for us to go into sacredness and start to visualize what we want so we can create it first in here and then expand out? And they say that when you create it, using all of your shock energy and using your crunch chakra, and if you create it up in the other dimension, especially in the astral levels, then it will be manifest. The more solid it gets created on that level, the more you will manifest here. So let's talk about some specifics about manifesting miracles as we pull these cards. One of the first things I like to recommend is that you and me, of course, is start to write down what would be a miracle. All of the talk I have about miracles, what would really be your miracle? What would would it be? So, so for some people, it might be prosperity. I don't recommend we just say, oh, I need a thousand dollars and that's my miracle. It sort of takes the joy out of it, the bigness out of it. So we would say, prosperity, golden coins, an abundance of, of money, an abundance of everything I need to, to work with, to grow, to prosper. So one of my miracles would be to prosper, manifest abundance or money. So how do we become miracle makers of money? Well, we start to work with this energy of becoming a magnet for money a magnet for prosperity, a magnet for wealth, health, and happiness. I am a magnet for health, wealth, and happiness. I am prosperous. I am a magnet for health. I am a magnet for miracles. I'm a miracle magnet. Miracle magnet. You see, we end. Okay, so today the energy is of celebration. Because it's a new nation. Okay. So sometimes I get to rhyme, and sometimes it's fine, and other times not so certain. But that's okay. That's how sometimes they talk to me. But they want you to get the picture. So coming up with your miracle mantra would help. So today I would say, I am a magnet for miracles. So I am a magnet for miracles. What does that do? Well, it turns you into a, so think of a, a torch. You know how when you look at a torch, it just sends beams of light out to everyone? Oh, there's my, my stick. It says yes. So right now, if you wanted to really be literal, if you, Oh, and you can see that fan coming out of my head. So imagine that that's a beam of light and then 360 degree angles all around me, sending out higher tone frequencies, shifting the energy wherever you may be. And that's part of what we are to do. It's quite unique. It's quite interesting. But what that magnetizes us to become these beacons of miracle power.
How else are we going to become miracle masters except to get it from here? I said this before. We all have a miracle muscle, and this miracle muscle helps us to, when we start to work with it, because it's usually shut off, because most of the time we don't believe we can do this, but when we get this miracle muscle going in a very organic way, more and more miracles are going to come our way, meaning good things happening, synchronicity, more of what we want, less of what we don't want. Then, guess what happens? Those people, like all of you guys, who've been waiting for me or for you to come out and, and to be the light, they'll come running. They'll go, oh my God, there you are. And that is what happens, beloved friends. You become miracle light. You become a tower of miracle power. And you can't deny it. And people will show up to do whatever it is that is your journey. That's your soul calling. It's quite spectacular, my friends. So we call our group of miracle allies today and thank them. Now, what's a miracle ally? Okay, and what's a miracle buster? So a miracle ally, just so you know, is one who wants to help and support you. Now, I have many miracle allies. So they come in forms of, of it could be family or friends, it could be clients, could be people from beyond that gift you or want to inspire you or they encourage you and they believe in you. And truthfully, I wouldn't have gotten this far without the many miracle allies that I have. And I, I would love to, right now I'm going to give a shout out to Neil, Neil Gar from Portal to Ascension, who's going to be hosting my live event in Irvine, February 15th, 2018. Thank you, Neil, for that. He's one of my sponsors and supporters. And I have a lot of you out there who love me and who keep the, the sanctuary going so that and who, who take the art home to raise your own frequencies, but also to create an energetic vibration. So from here, from the sanctuary, and the angels here can literally tune in to any of the pieces of my artwork around the world. Oops, I said it again, my, of the divine artwork, the celestial beings that I have been privileged to be a paintbrush for. So if I sent you a piece of art, then when I did events like this, and with your permission too, there'd be an activation that occurs right through that painting as a portal. So <clears throat> that's extremely exciting. So let's do a little reading with these cards, okay? And we have a whole group of them now. We're at day 20, card 20, divine celebration. Let's bring her up so you can see her. Oh, yes, she is divine. And I have her on a wall so high I can't get her because she was like, and Okay, she told me I had to dress up to be the angel of celebration. And what are we celebrating, everyone? We're celebrating our launching of miracles for all of us. So do you know what it is that's in your heart that you want to achieve as your miracle? Okay, so you want to achieve prosperity. What else do you want? What will you do your prosperity through? Are you going to do it through your divine sacred work, whatever that is, and knowing that your divine sacred work is going to bring healing to other people? Or perhaps your prosperity will come from a job which you enjoy but may not be your soul calling, but it brings you more than enough money to do all the work that brings you joy so you could gift it to those you love. See, there's so many ways. Spirit does not want to define or give a definition because then we we take we just put it in a box. Okay, so miracle allies. All of you have miracle allies, those people who are supporting you on your path, who when you have a win, they go, oh, my God, I am so happy for you, love. Now, what's the miracle buster? Most often, they can be family, friends, 
fellow workers, bosses, abusive beings, spouses, husbands, wives, they could be almost anyone that has come into your life and what they do is it's like they break your bubble, right? You have a dream, you have a vision, you're all set to go with the flow, right? And then they tell you all the reasons you can't do it. Now, sometimes we're our own miracle buster. I know that there have been times in my life where I may have had an idea, and then the next thing I know, I have is 450 ways that it won't work, and then it doesn't. So knowing that, we still look for and, and knowing, by the way, that miracle busters are here on assignment. Yes, they are. They've been assigned to test you on your path, all right? Now, they come along, and it's like you really are de-inflated, right? That idea that looks so brilliant sizzles out, right? Oh, my gosh. I can just feel it. Because, of course, I've experienced it, too. So I suggest that you use this miracle journal. Now, maybe it's too literal for you to say put your miracle allies, a list of your miracle allies in here, but I would because isn't that important? Take a moment. And we'll send them prayers of gratitude because we're celebrating. And when you celebrate, we first have to spark the vibe and do the gratitude thing. So thank you to all of our miracle allies. You know who they are. Write them in your miracle journal. Or on a piece of paper right now so you don't forget say who are my miracle allies thank you thank you bring me more we can never have enough allies on the planet okay it's a tough planet I always say that now who are your miracle busters now isn't that important to know miracle busters who in your world really does put a pin in that bubble and break it so we really want to know who those people are so that we can number one be in a, a different frame of mind when we engage with them understanding that they're here on assignment to teach us how to believe in ourselves despite them and in the end we are here to learn how to use our miracle muscle our self-confidence to really develop it and our own uniqueness no matter what they say so did I think I was going to come out as an angel? If you had told me this when I was 12, 20, 30, 50, I would have been mortified, okay? I think I would have gone back and hid in the closet because it would have been too much for me because in those days, God forbid you should see me. I took ugly pills because I was way too shy, too repressed. So if you had said to me, Joan, in your future, we see you. Putting on your little hat, doing your 44 days of miracle awakening, I would have thought they were crazy. So the third thing to look at is what, what are you doing today that you would never have dreamed possible? Because isn't that interesting? As ice have been breaking, what has held me down, then I start to be more authentically myself. As I'm more authentically myself, then the energy aligns properly. We can raise our vibration to attract miracles, and we step in. But if I am wearing clothes that don't suit, doing work that just puts me in a box and I hate, 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 if I'm living a life that just mortifies me, shames and humiliates me, then the quality of what I'm doing is less. So we owe it to ourselves to really do this work. Okay, so now we are going to do our reading. And today I'm actually going to pull three parts to give you a sample link okay, of how I would read them when I'm sitting in my own morning meditation or if I'm doing a reading for a client or I'm doing a reading online or on stage like we are right now. <gasps> okay, so the first card is the master teacher card. The card of we are bringing you wisdom from the stars, align, integrate, and remember who you are. So that would suggest to me that perhaps you're out of balance in some way, shape, or form. Look and start. So how do we see if we're out of balance? First, 
I like to use this miracle meter that you could find on some of the other videos, but it's a horizontal line. On the left is zero, on the right is 10. And imagine a clock hand, and you can actually close your eyes and go, okay, on a scale of one to 10, huh, what is my energetic alignment with spirit right now? And that's one way to do it. And you'll see if you're a four or an eight or a 10. 10 is wonderful. Four means we really need to work. And so it, the card comes through as a teacher card because it says to you, look, beloved, we actually have messages for you. Kindly get back in alignment with yourself so that we can, can begin or continue to help lift your frequency, that we can help you along your journey, make it easier for you. So when the master teacher comes, now when the master teacher comes to you and they surround you, then you be, they channel or they download tremendous amounts of information to you. And that means that at some point you will be sharing your wisdom in some way or your healings, your abilities and gifts in some way. But first you need to align with them and trust them. <clears throat> And so also understanding that this is an integration process that's very, very important for you. And that, by the way, is card 17 if you want to find it in the videos on YouTube. All right. So the second card that would come through, and remember, we're just sitting there saying, okay, messengers of miracles, the miracle masters, what kind of message do you have for me or for my clients? So the next card that comes through is the oracle. The oracle speech it says, I know my truth. I know who I am. So we go from first we're receiving divine wisdom that's infusing us with this sacred knowledge that happens to be helping us to be aligned with our purpose. How do we become the oracle? We become the oracle's grounded meditation, sending our roots up our roots down and then our antennas up the heavens so we can sacredly align with them. And then trusting that we are bringing in, trusting in our intuition, trusting in our visions, trusting in the miracles. And again, that's why I really tell you to write it down. It's the only way to know. So then we feel, and she's all about personal power, frankly. So in order for you to have this all manifest today, the wisdom, this resonation with the truth, really feeling, knowing who you are, understanding your journey. And the final card is that you'll be stepping into the temple of balance. All will be unfolding for the highest good. Surrender and know that all is well. So you can't, the temple of balance means that we, we trust. We move forward courageously. We don't go too extreme this way or this way. We know who we are. We know what we know. We trust our gifts. And so we will surrender. So today is a day to surrender. Trust that the answers are going to come through. Trust that you're doing all that you can do, that you're going through the right door. And that we want to ask, thank you, Spirit, bring me more. So you've been listening to Joan of Angels as part of my 44 Days of Awakening to Miracles 2018 series. Every day for 44 days, there's 44 cards in my brand new Miracle Messages Oracle deck. The deck contains all original art that's come through me as a paintbrush. You like that? The way I said that better? It's original art that could be in the form of angels, masters, divine beings, portals, temples, vortexes, whew, even monk, sacred symbols, and shifts. So all sorts of portals to the divine. Each card has different messages. Each message has different meanings. I am here for 44 cards worth of training to help you access these masters of miracles for yourself, access and accelerate and awaken your miracles and have like a just simply fabulous experience. So keep your journal so you can track your results so you can see how far you've come. 
All right, and I already told you that today's assignment, Miracle Allies, who are my allies? Thank you, thank you. Who are my my Miracle Busters? We thank you, thank you, thank you, because of what you're teaching me too. So we do private consulting. Don't forget that. We do these cards. Please sign up at Awakening to Miracles 2018.com and get your deck. Get your deck for yourself, get your deck for your friends, your family, and all those Miracle Busters. Hmm. Well, you'll decide that on an individual basis. But when you have them all around you, you are already in your Miracle Awakening. So I love you all. You'll see me for the next card and lesson, card 21, Awakening to Miracles 2018. Get your Miracle Messages deck. I love you so much. Please, feedback or comments is great. Put a review on my Joan of Angels page. Like the page. Encourage us. Give us your feedback, too, because we just love you, and we just are so happy to do this. So once again, you sort of see them up above and all around me. Have a blessed day. Sending many, many master miracle messengers your way. Bye for now.